Good news. There's more time to experience Cirque du Soleil's latest creation, Kuza. The show has been extended by four days until May 23rd. Kuza mixes traditional circus acts with Cirque's unique blend of color, imagination, body-bending performances, and new age rock music. This is the magic that takes place on stage that most of us see, but what's life like under the big top? Once the makeup and the costumes come off, we went behind the scenes to find out. There is nothing like the sort of traveling artistic village that is the big top for Cirque du Soleil. Kuza's artistic director, Adam Miller, took us to a place most Cirque du Soleil fans don't see. This is what's known as the Artist Village, a place where performers train, get ready for a show, and hang out. That on one hand you'll have somebody who's balancing on one hand right over here, while the other hand you have someone that might be stretching, and I think people will be surprised that then you might have another artist that's sitting in the corner reading a book or online or, or uh, you know, that there's this mixture of daily life that's built around a very unusual life. Besides the performers, Cirque travels with a team of 30 support staff. A wardrobe department, which is over there. They handle everything from 1,100 pieces of costume to feeding 100 people each day in their portable kitchen slash cafeteria. It's a very special kind of family atmosphere. Performers and staff can bring their families on tour, which means providing schooling for the kids. On this tour, there are five school-aged kids. Miller says it's this kind of togetherness that makes working under the big top so special. And there's a real great spirit, especially in this show of oneness and unity, to bring people a great show. And the tent is pretty much self-sufficient. The only thing that's not on site is housing. Cirque rents temporary apartments or hotels for the staff. Again, Kuza now runs through May 23rd. Tickets for the extended shows are now on sale.